Alrighty, next round. Here we go. Um, so, good opener on on the draw, unfortunately, but uh, Boggle, stuff to boggle it up with. Pat the Exile, Horizon Canopy, in case we get a bit flooded. Seems good. And Forest. Alright, backup. Backup Boggle, obviously not as good as Slippery Boggle, but you tried. Glade Cover Slout. Sclout. You tried. You'll never be a Boggle, though. Alright, so up against Mono Green, very interesting. Strangle Root Geist, not really a card that is threatening to Boggles. Um. Drawing two boggles is not exactly what we wanted to do, but we will take it, I suppose. Um, real realistically, we're just looking for a way to either um, give first strike or lifelink at this point. But not the worst position to be in. I mean, Rancor is going to get a lot of value if our opponent wants to start trading. And there's Ethereal Armor, which is completely busted, of course. And our opponent is actually looking to be constrained on mana as well, so we want to hold on to this path and not just use it willy-nilly, if at all possible. Like, this is looking to be a pretty favorable race situation for us, so, um, we, we, we go ahead and use Path here, though, but, I mean, taking three power off the board seems worth it. We, we didn't ramp our opponent this last turn, which was important, but at this point, there's not really anything we fear, and there's a good chance our opponent just dies this turn, like... To that draw, which is also uh, pretty good um, if you're racing to gain some life. Although, better to just kill your opponent, I suppose, um, which is what we do. Alright, so against Mono Green, not exactly a deck you see in Modern a lot. Um, we're definitely not going to put in Leyline of Sanctity. Could put in Disenchant. Um, it would be basically preemptively for um, some sort of strange, uh, either like Utopia Sprawls or Ratchet Bombs, basically. But at this point, I would say no. Rest in Peace does stop um, Strangle Root Case, but uh, not really what we're looking for. And Stony Silence. Just seems like worse in the dark than disenchant, even in theory. Um, so definitely looking at these cards to bring in. As for bringing out uh, SRAM, actually seems good against mono green because they're in theory not going to have much removal. Uh, Path, on the other hand, I mean seems fine, but we don't really um, want to get. Like, we don't really care what they're doing, because what we're doing is so much better. Um, again, Hyena Umbra's uh, plus one, plus one, and First Strike and Totem Armor do not seem all that necessary. That said, Spider Umbra seems even worse, because uh, Reach is probably going to be useless against Mono Green. A lot, of, a lot of strange things to consider against Mono Green. So it's just a matter of, like, I think we just want to load up on uh, Spirit Links for sure. It seems like a great card in this matchup if we're getting into races. Maybe keep in a couple paths and then um, bring back some uh, Hyena Umbras and, or Spider Umbras and I just focus on... Uh, going off with uh, our, our, our enchantments. 
Although I wouldn't uh, fault like doing this or even the dismember it would be fine if you want to get into like killing their creatures more but I, I would just focus on like either drawing a boggle or a SRAM and a core spirit dancer and just drawing a bunch of cards seems pretty good um so yeah game two good looking hand that's a good looking hand I mean kind of heavy on the boggles uh, but Spirit Link and Spirit Mantle should be great cards for the matchup, and we can. There's always the top of the deck, like that. Another Spirit Link, sure. I mean, we're going to have a very spirited, very small boggle at this point. Um. So here, could just Spirit Mantle up the boggle and either threaten to block or, um attack uh, for two. The attack and the block don't seem that relevant to me though. I would... The, uh, the play I make is spirit linking up my boggle twice just uh, to play around like a disenchant effect because next turn I want a daybreak coronet and have two uh, enchantments so one disenchant doesn't make the daybreak coronet fall off. Although spirit, spirit mantling would have been fine too because it would have actually ended up being able to prevent this damage from happening. And there's Ratchet Bomb. And against this hand, we are just screwed. <laughs> like, Ratchet Bomb is incredible against this hand. First of all, we, we, we were boggle heavy already. Um, second of all, um, second of all, we don't have an Umbra to, to, save our boggle once this bomb goes off. Third of all, an Umbra wouldn't even be that good since it would still kill, kill the spirit links. Although we could, in theory, uh, keep a spirit mantle and a daybreak coronet. So what I should have done here is probably just daybreak coronet because this ratchet bomb is going to own us no matter what. We might as well just make our opponent blow the ratchet bomb and then try and rebuild with the spirit mantle and boggles. I play the spirit mantle which I don't agree with in retrospect because if our opponent's good they're not going to immediately blow the ratchet bomb because this isn't enough to win the game. We need to commit more which is going to be a problem. And this is this basically uh, puts me in a pretty bad spot me making this play. Whereas Daybreak Coronet, we could, in w w we're gaining a bunch of life, first of all, this turn. And then we're forcing the, the Ratchet Bomb immediately. So that was kind of a throw here. Um, and here, I'm still thinking our opponent will have to, have to Ratchet Bomb. Surely they'll have to Ratchet Bomb. I mean, two Spirit Links and a Spirit Metal. Uh, but our opponent just doesn't care because our guy is so small. So we've kind of um, uh, underestimated the power of the Ratchet Palm just sitting there. And now we're just losing on the board and need to commit more. So that was m my bad. My bad. I take uh, full responsibility. Uh, and here... I commit the Rancor. Again, I think this is a misplay in retrospect. I should have Windswept Teeth, got Dryad Arbor, and uh, Rancored up the uh, Dryad Arbor after attacks. Because uh, either our opponent has to Ratchet Bomb, uh, or, or we gain a good amount of life, and then and then we can Dryad Arbor uh, threaten to block some of this stuff and, and not immediately die. And now we just lose our Rancor and probably the game. Unless we draw an enchantment. Like, if we draw an enchantment, we actually can just easily win, still win this game. I mean, Mono Green is such a good matchup. Even when we're not playing optimally, we still have a chance. And Horizon Canopy is not going to do it. And we just die. And go to game three. And on the play, this is like, wow. Just wow, just wow.
Snap keep. Excellent hand. We got the Boggles. We got Spirit Dancers. We got Srams. We got Rancors. We got it all. And our opponent plays generic. Generic one mana 4-4. Four, four. You think that's going to be good enough against the Boggle deck? And we don't even bother offering the trade. Um, and our opponent also doesn't want to make that trade, seeing as we have Spirit Dancer. Of course, um, we're going to load up with Hyena Umbra to start on our core Spirit Dancer. Make sure Spirit Dancer is large and in charge and unkillable. Um, and again, we just don't want to lose to a random disenchant. In fact, like our opponents attacking into a three-five first strike with a four-one, so presumably they have something. So we just offer up that trade. Um, and yeah, just sit back and enjoy drawing cards and casting enchantments. And we even brought in Stony Silence for a Ratchet Bomb. After seeing it, of course our opponent does not have Ratchet Bomb. Drawing two cards, every Rancor. 1311 casually double totem armor and gain 16 oh what's that we we drew too many cards so that we had to discard that turn and yeah um that's that's how you do boggles i mean our opponent was mono green so obviously a great matchup but and great draws um, and still managed to throw away a game, so shows the importance of uh, it, modern can be tricky even when you're playing boggles against mono green.